Hello friend, welcome back to my channel. Let us explore a little more about the life of a tech engineer. Working in the software industry, people often switch jobs. And surely, with the COVID-19 pandemic, things have been a little different. People have been working from home, and even companies are taking interviews from home. Let us find out a little bit more about it. Today we have with us Preeti Bharadwaj, who has recently joined Microsoft during this COVID-19 pandemic, and we will try to find out how her experiences have been. So Preeti, welcome to my mini studio. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. So Preeti, to start off things, why don't you tell me something about yourself? My name is Preeti Bhardwaj. I'm from Hisar, Haryana. I uh, did my undergrads in Pune, Maharashtra. Then I worked there for two years in Cybit Software. It was a private uh, company. Um, after that, I moved to US for my master's. I uh, did my master's in computer science from Iowa State, which is a good university. And then, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very nice university. I want to give a bonus tip to the users that the university provides full scholarship for okay. computer science students. So do consider it. Mm -hmm. Um, after finishing my master's, I uh, moved to uh, Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked there in IBM for okay. three years. And now I've recently moved here in Seattle. Wow, looks like quite a bit of a journey. So let us start chronologically. So while you were working at IBM, what were some of the stuff that you were working on? Would you like to tell us something about? Sure. So when I was in IBM, I worked uh, on Watson OpenScape, mm -hmm. which is a AI-driven uh, product. So right. it uses machine learning frameworks like um, Azure, AWS, uh, Watson Machine Learning. And uh, it takes a decision. It tells you what decision that model has taken, and it tells you that whether the model is biased or not, or it has drifted from its accurate result. OK, so sounds like a lot of machine learning stuff. Yeah. So Preeti, AI versus ML. Mm -hmm. I have often found that these two terms are used interchangeably a lot. So can you give me a very easy example how AI is different from ML? For example, like I have Alexa at my home and I have Siri on my iPhone. So mm -hmm. is that AI or is that ML? That's AI because it's taking your human input to make mm -hmm. its decision, to take its decision, right? So mm -hmm. uh, ML is a part of AI. Okay. AI is a big, bigger part and ML is a subset of those machine learning, uh, mm -hmm. those algorithms, those AI algorithms. So for IBM Watson was that was that also based upon like just how similar Siri and Alexa works? Are they like? No, uh, it was mostly machine learning models. So we created models. We mm -hmm. provided input to, to those models. Like in case of credit card application, we provided the input that this, you if this person has this much of income, this age, you, you should approve this uh, person for the credit card loan application. Okay, so all of those decisions are being taken automatically. You don't have to provide all the input. It, it drives We to... provide the input first. Like we provide 10,000 number mm -hmm. of data to that model. And okay. then when a new data comes, okay, the then it is able to take a decision automatically. Yeah, because it okay. has been trained using that input models. Okay, okay, okay. So that makes a lot of and sense. And AI uses human input and then takes its own decision. We don't mm -hmm. uh, provide the input data to AI. I mean, we do in starting, but after that, it takes its own decision. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So the, all of that was IBM. So how did you decide that you wanted to switch company? Was that just a better offer, a better location, or you just wanted to like move out of that place? Uh, I wanted to move out of IBM. I love okay. that place. I love Boston. Um, mm -hmm. I uh, I moved out because of my friends too. I have okay. a lot of friends in here. You too, mm -hmm. <laughs> including. So, so how did Microsoft come into the picture? Microsoft. I started giving interviews to the dif in different companies, mm -hmm. and uh, one of my very dear friends, he was in Microsoft, is in Microsoft actually. <laughs> Uh, so she convinced me that it's a very uh, good company. You should mm -hmm. give an uh, interview uh, for Microsoft. Uh, I started. Um... Okay, so you decided on Microsoft, right? Mm -hmm. So you gave the Microsoft interview during your COVID-19 pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. So can you tell me how was it different from the conventional interview that we all know about? Sure. So I interviewed for Microsoft before when I was in uh, Masters. Mm -hmm. uh, that time I had to travel to uh, Microsoft Seattle to mm -hmm. give interviews. And it was a five... Uh, round interview one full for one full day um, and it was very tiring actually uh, only one round was taken place in uh, my uh, university mm -hmm. Iowa State <laughs> but uh, in COVID-19 it was all online so it was very convenient you can just sit home and just give interviews and prepare as well between those interviews so, it was... so what about those whiteboarding rounds so when you go on site you would write down on your boards and everything right mm -hmm. but now when you're sitting at home how did you manage all of that so we you can use your own paper paper pen okay okay just a, a simple paper simple pen, paper right? pen yeah. like mm -hmm. for the system design interviews or you can mm -hmm. use uh, other apps uh, for which has a whiteboard and you can just draw on it 
Okay, so literally the, everything that was happening on site, it just translated to your webcam and you sitting right over there, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So after all of that, what was the onboarding process like? I know that when usually new employees join a company, there are new hire programs, new orientation programs. Mm -hmm. They would make you familiar with the environment. Mm -hmm. So with this COVID-19 pandemic, you are joining the company sitting at your home. Mm -hmm. So what was the orientation process then? Oh, in Microsoft, I don't think there was a, a big orientation uh, event. Mm -hmm. It was with just a, a small team introduction. Um, they provided us the laptops, they introduced us to the team, and that's all I think. So nothing much has happened. Okay, happened. so but they somehow made sure that you had a smooth transition from leaving your company and then joining Microsoft, correct? They did, yeah. So they gave they given me date that what would be my joining date. I uh, they tr uh, sent the laptop two days before the joining date. And uh, most of the orientation thing was done by my manager. She introduced okay. me in that these are the people you have to talk to. to uh, and you had chats with them around around the culture. You had chats with them about the company expectations, what you would be working on, things like those. Yeah, that was all online uh, video calls before joining. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how long has it been since you have joined Microsoft? It's been four, five, this is my fifth month. Yeah, five okay. months. Okay, so I believe that five months is a relatively less time to explore a company properly. Yeah. But if I have to ask you, was, do you see some cultural difference between working at IBM versus working at Microsoft? I do, I do actually. IBM was very uh, school-like, uh, okay. I think, uh, <laughs> company. Uh, mainly be, maybe just my team, but it was more uh, micromanagement in the in my okay. whole organization. But here it's uh, people are like quite relaxed. Um, work from home culture is very appreciated here. So did you feel that while working at IBM, your ideas were curbed? You weren't allowed to explore all of the things that you had in mind. But at Microsoft, things are different. I won't say that. I mean, in IBM, there were a lot of there was a lot of work. I, one thing I like about Microsoft, there is a good food here. The cafeterias are really nice. Campus is huge. And uh, they think about your uh, uh, travel time too. So they provided all the shuttles for you to travel. Uh, inside uh, Microsoft campus also, you can easily go from one place to another. Uh, in IBM, the campus was not that huge. And it was all divided. Uh, there was there were no HR. So it was hard to communicate uh, regarding any any of your HR needs. Uh, here, it's pretty smooth. I think it's a, I think it's a better company. So you would say that Microsoft takes better care of its employees, right? Yeah, I would say that. Okay. So, wow, Preeti, that was a lot of insight. So I have one last question for you. So if someone is watching this video, what advice would you like to give them if they're planning to quit jobs or if they're planning to go to Microsoft? What advice would you like to give them? Can you please tell the audience? Okay. So before switching companies, I would say uh, prepare uh, for data structures, system design, uh, shortlist few companies, uh, start giving interviews in those companies and read about those companies that what are they working on. Uh, read some uh, employee blogs, uh, the reviews about the company, and uh, I think that will help you a, a lot, all the best. Okay, thanks for all the information, Preeti. And with that, let us wrap up this episode. If it is okay with you, I can drop a link to your LinkedIn profile if anyone wants to connect with you. No, 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 you can't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Sure, sure. <laughs> all right, so perfect. So friends, if you want to know more about machine learning or IBM or Microsoft and how the work culture is, how you plan to quit jobs, what is the research that you want to do, feel free to reach out to Preeti. And I will also drop in some more resources for you to prepare for your interview. With that, thank you, Preeti, for having me. Thank you. Thank you.